Watch this video to learn everything you need to know about graphics. Located in the PicMonkey editor, click the Graphics tab. Here you'll find over 3,000 graphics for all your design needs, with more added every month. Once you click the tab, you can see they're divided into unique categories, from food and drink, to travel and transport, and so much more. Check out this fun posing yoga graphic. When you click on the graphic, the graphic palette will appear. This gives you a number of options. Let's play around a bit. In the basic tab on the graphics palette, click the color circles. Choose a color from the spectrum color wheel, or you can also type in the hex code, or use the color picker to choose colors from the canvas. You can also add shadows by clicking the effects tab. Tick the drop shadow or inner shadow option and use the slider tools to perfect your effect. Now we've got the basics covered, let's create this design from start to finish. Firstly, let's bring in our own image. To do this, go to the graphics option in the PicMonkey editor. At the top, you'll see add your own. You can add images from your hub or your computer. After uploading all of your images, use the Layers palette to select objects in your design. You can move them up or down and choose which one appears in front or behind. Once you're happy with your images, bring in some PicMonkey graphics. Here's some I prepared earlier. Customize them by editing the size and use the Color Picker tool to change the color. Don't forget about the blend modes. This unique feature changes the way in which your graphic interacts with other layers. There is a variety of options. Scroll through and select the one that works best. Let's create this. We can do this by creating a mask effect, which simply adds depth to your project by kind of making a window in a layer for an image to peek through. Let's start with these shapes. Resize them and move them up or down by your layers palette. Now for the fun part. Click on your shape and then head to the PicMonkey editor and select textures. Now this is going to seem weird but you're going to use a graphic as a texture. To do this, select add your own. As you can see the image is now the shape of your graphic. If you remember what the finished graphic looked like, this particular image is a little different to what we've just uploaded. Let's bring the saturation down, making it black and white. Now head to the transform texture section and click flip horizontal. Play with the size and you can also use your cursor to move the image within the graphic. Once you're happy, click apply. Now go ahead and apply the other textures and any other PicMonkey graphics. For this design, let's use my favourite, the Erase tool. Let's bring in the main image. Remember, to do this, head to your graphics tool and add your own. Even though the image overlaps the canvas when exporting, PicMonkey will only show what fits within the dimensions of the canvas. So in this instance, don't worry about resizing. Let's create the sun. Select a circle from the basic section of your graphics tool and now place it over your image. To achieve the ombre effect, head to the PicMonkey editor, click effects and scroll down and select ombre. Here you have a number of options to play with. The default is blue and white. To create a golden sun, choose an orange and a yellow. Now use the slider tool and play with the direction and fade. Select apply once you're happy. To erase, click on the sun. On your graphics palette, select the Erase tab. Now, use the slider tool to select the size, hardness and strength. Erase the bottom half of the sun so it looks as though it's sitting behind the mountain. Don't worry if you go too far. Now you have a guide, zoom in. Select the Paint tool. Now, paint back in any areas that you erased too much. Use a smaller brush for the finer details. And there you have it. 
minutes. How easy was that? So go ahead and start creating. Make sure that you tag us at PicMonkey so we can see your awesome designs.